Oh, one more down there. I wasn't supposed to die. You died in your... That wasn't a planned death? That was not a planned death. I was supposed to pick that up, turn around, go someplace else. Back so, up. if you don't send the... If you don't send this back up... If you don't send it back up, you have oh. to pull a lever. And just... You have to wait till it comes back up. Look how long it's taking to go down. I just send it up so that way it's faster. Okay, so, you, so you're not fucked if you. If you I'm not it. fucked. It just it takes a long time. I don't feel like waiting. Since I know I'm going to die, I might as well send it back up because I know I'm coming back down. All right. Uh, just out of curiosity, is he awake? Maybe I can pick my stuff back up. Do you get the souls back as well? Uh, he's, he's awake. awake. He's gonna fuck you up. Yeah. I don't get this. Uh, I would get the souls back, but I only had like eighty or so. I mean, you're, I'd get uh, the humanity human back. Yeah, humanity. I don't really need it because I could find another uh, firekeeper soul shortly, and you could also farm humanity. So this is another area. This is uh, not like this is like uh, like a fifth of the way in the game. So there's a very famous uh, speed run drop here. So normally we're going through the back way. And we're gonna do uh, the Black Town drop. I might die here, but that's okay. Walk off this ledge, just like so. Roll. Roll. Boom, we just wow, skipped half the area. It's a pretty uh, tough roller. What if you just missed it? If you missed, you die. Yep. So you knew exactly which angle to roll in when you hit that pillar. Yep. I've also practiced it enough times to know. Something you learned on your own? I just I've watched this game speedrun a couple times. Oh, so, just, so what's something you figured out? Something I figured out? Then nothing. I just I've watched this I've watched the game be been speedrun so many times. So here is a bonfire. We are not gonna touch it. Remember how I out? remember how I said I couldn't get out. It's just a long way up. Remember how I said bonfires are uh, checkpoints? Yeah. So if we die, we go all the way back up to that one place. Yeah, which you want. Yeah, because you don't want to waste time. That is a dragon skill for dragon weapons. If you happen to have, for example, let's say you're building like a uh, a mage character, there's this one mage weapon called a Moonline Greatsword, which is essentially like the sorcerer weapon to use. You would use a dragon skill. A greatsword. Yes. For a which, mage. Which shoots beams of fucking magic at people. The poison, don't worry about that. It doesn't really hurt you that much. It's taken off my energy very slowly. Just energy, not health? Oh, health, yeah. I could heal it, but I don't care. Because I, like I said, I am planning on dying. It's two souls right there. If you kill these guys, they might drop a, a certain shard for upgrading materials. Let's see if I'm lucky. They're really easy to kill. It's taking too long to kill, actually. It's not uh, great to farm. That over there is... Remember how I told you there's different kinds of uh, starting classes? Right. This is the Pyromancer starting class uh, armor. Which has pretty good poison defense. Or resistance, rather. That's it. I'm going to pick up one more thing here that might help us later on. And then we can go ahead and die. Actually, one more thing. All the way up there. We're gonna pick up a uh, upgrade material. But it's not a very imminent upgrade material. Cool. Okay, we have one or two things we could do. We could die and get our ass kicked. And then we can go all the way back up. Or we can use. The dark side. Use all of humanity and souls return to the last bonfire. So that 100, gone. If I had any it's the same thing as dying. It's the same thing as dying, it's just I don't feel like waiting around. To die? Yes. I'm kinda curious to see how much damage those things do to you. Like that guy with the boulder? Uh, standing he, there he waiting. probably almost one shot me. Bam, back up here. Otherwise we had to climb all the way back up. And that drop helped us a lot. We're gonna farm more materials. Why not farm? We're gonna go pick up more materials. Whew. 
right now. Exactly. Don't fuck with them. They'll kill you. They're undead. They they're have. Fast. They're fast. Oh, well, you're undead too. Yeah, but they're skeletons. They have high resistance. They're stronger than me. They can easily. They also have a lot more uh, DPS than I do. I'm using a fucking battle axe. I'm not gonna hit for very often. Come back here. That is one soul. Then I'm gonna go over here, pick up these fire bombs. Skeletons might be right behind me, and they will aggro you for a while. They are so still chasing you. They'll chase. They're probably still chasing. You. So you can go ahead and. Does that wall do like make you do less damage? The wall? Yeah, hitting the wall with your axe. No, not necessarily. So it's just a little. It's just a. It's in my way. Okay. So, I'm gonna put this up. Here, do a, uh, you can run by holding a uh, circle. Touching then, blood stain. Dude. Touching that blood stain will let me know someone else who's died here. Are you supposed to do that? What? This. Th this, yeah. Pick up this right here, pick up a ring. This ring, when you die, you get to keep all your souls. Okay, that's what I thought. Can you fall off ledges? Just like this. Okay. So, if you fall off, you can't pick your shit back up, right? I can. It, it, it'll, at the last safe spot that you were at. Oh, okay, so basically, on that bridge area. Yeah. Okay. So, like, for example, let's say you were running, and then you got killed mid-run, your safe spot would be right before you started running. Oh, really? Yes. Uh... Pick up what, that one thing up there. You have to kill these guys? Hold up. I think I'm gonna chase them. I need to make things harder. I'm gonna parry. Oh, I was worth parry. <laughs> you killed the guy with the firebombs. It's really annoying. Is there friendly fire? There is no friendly fire, but there is PvP in this game. Happy? Yes, I like seeing that. Satisfying. It took me two, three years to learn how to parry. Three years. I also play this game on and off. You mean before you realized you can actually parry? Oh, I knew I could parry, I just didn't know how to. Like, I, I can never get the timing right. Is it really that hard? And then I figured out a technique. So we're gonna sit here. Now we're gonna use all of those souls that we got. We got a couple. Uh, so we're down to menu. We'll just go one by one. That boss gave you a lot more. Well, let's see. I just have this. Alright, let's see how much we can level up. We get 14 and 14 for now. Uh, we get a one endurance. I mean HP. Endurance. HP is vitality. Oh, is it? So, so for running, example, you want to run longer? Exactly. So if I want HP more, it'd be that one. But I don't really need vitality all that much. I find it as a crutch. I like endurance. I like to be able to run further, swing more often. Every time you swing, it takes oh, stamina. I am going to be running most of the time. How much is it to is my next bitch. level up? Well, I need 3,800. Alright. How much you need to, like... Next level up. You need to get one point? Yep. 
Okay, so we're gonna fight a boss that we're not supposed to fight right away, but we are going to. Uh, hopefully, I won't die. For one, because there is a very good chance I could die. Why did you use just one? Because you, in order for you to for the 50 points. reverse hollow, you need to have humanity. So you're offering humanity, and you can reverse hollow. And you'll see what happens to my character here. Why did you use it when you had 20? Why? Because I died. And I lose it, remember? Why didn't you when you die, you come back it. to your original state. Okay, now that I'm this, I can get invaded. But this is a safe area, so you don't get invaded. So the reason I went ha uh, human is because you can summon people to help you fight. You can summon regular people, like you and me. Or you can summon some of the game's NPCs. And in this game, there's, this, there's in the area that I'm going to now, there's this one NPC that can essentially... I don't need that, that's a shield. There's this one NPC that can essentially take on the boss by himself for you. And he gives you 10,000 cents. That is very convenient. There's two bosses like that, and I'm going to do both of them that way. So I'm still... I'm still pretty low level. What level are you? 18. That's low. Yes. Ignore all these guys, because they're gonna kill me. That one guy exploded, he killed me. He would've killed me. This explode just just like that. Just because. That not that skeleton, it was one of the dudes in there. So come in here. Oh no. Oh no. Suck. So if you can kill this guy right away, great. If not. He's probably gonna kill me. Oh no! I'm probably gonna die. I was trying to go to the menu. Blood loss means that I got hit with a bleed weapon. When you get hit with a bleed weapon too many times, you lose, I believe it's a, a third of your HP bar. Permanently? Oh, well, it, from your HP. So you lose it clean completely. Huh. So, and if say you were doing like 50 damage, 50 damage, 50 damage, right? With a regular weapon. It did, and then if that weapon happened to do bleed, that 50 eventually would turn into like two, 300 damage. Just for that one hit. For that one hit. So you, it builds up your bleed meat. It, it goes both ways for you and him? Yep. But you can't bleed skeletons. They don't have any blood. So some enemies, bone marrow. some enemies can make, you can make bleed. Like bosses. Some bosses. Oh. Some bosses are, they're undead. Some bosses you do way too much damage to anyways, and you won't be able to hurt them. Uh, just out of curiosity. And I still roll with this. Yes. That endurance. That's right, I did level up endurance. I could probably put the rest of that armor on too. Oh yeah, and if you, when you level up endurance, not only does it level up your, your stamina bar, the green one, it also increases your equip burden. Yeah, I saw. I think right now it's like what? I think 60 or 90? Uh, 63. Oh, wait, that's 63. 63, yeah, 63. So I can get 25% uh, below that. Yeah. So 15, 16% or 16 uh, equip units. This one happens to be better. Could probably equip this too, right? And I can still roll. Maybe even one of these. Next so one. Could use that extra HP defense. So what I want to do is I I want to get that. Uh, there's a bonfire right there, but since I'm running away from everybody, they're going to be chasing me. If you spawn. Well, if I hit the bonfire. This time no skeletons chasing me. What? No, no, I'm not complaining. So normally it would be a lot harder to do. Yes. Also, those skeletons won't die unless this necromancer dies. Oh, really? Yes. What you want to do in this room is you want to hit this. This opens a path up front. I to touch that bonfire? If I die, I come right back here. It's not that hard to get What I wanted to do is I wanted to save and quit. So I can pop up here and have those things de-aggro, but 
and get to work out. Okay, so we're gonna do another drop. We're gonna hope it works. Block. That was an attack? Yep, he's a roll attack. One of these. I'm gonna come right here. Alright, those things are gonna want a suicide. Come on, that's one down. Two down. Three down. Okay, so you see that one thing down there? That one, those two, two three yeah, boys. those things are probably gonna fuck me over. But those are enemies. Yep. Do this. Yep. Fucked. Very oh, good. good. I made it. Give you good luck here. I got lucky. Uh, so I wanted to just explode right now. Otherwise, it's gonna fuck me over later. Slow down. Perfect. That's fine. Just walked right into it. That's okay. So, notice how they died, but... The still are still alive. Yes, that's okay. Down here. We're gonna summon this guy. Paladin Leroy. No! You oh, no, up. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You summon him? I summoned him. At least I hope I did. He's not coming down. Oh no. I wanna reload. Oh no. You done fucked up. Roll happy. That was a stored roll. Oh, did I not summon Leroy? Oh no. I know what that means, alright. You lose your souls? I gotta die. I gotta reload the game? If I reload, I don't I, I don't think I let's see, where do I land? You start from that checkpoint, right? No, you start from where you last literally left off. Really? Yeah. Hope? It saves that often. Yeah. It saves in real time. Yeah, I think you took too... I think you walked around there too long. I think it saved. I saw that flame blinking a lot. Shit! Woo! Okay. Duh, fucked up. Can you get back up there? Not easily. Good luck. I have to die. I like legit have to die. Oh, I think I use another one of these. Is he that good? I need him. The boss? He like three shots the boss. It'll take me like 40, 50 hits to kill the boss. Is he like a secret guy? Nope, he's actually one of the weakest bosses. No, I mean, what, like, oh, I don't lose which guy? No, the guy who I'm trying to summon? No, he's yeah. just a regular old NPC. Like he's not like a hidden NPC? Nope. I mean, it's. I didn't see that that summon sign the first time I played. Oh, I guess I do get to keep my human form. Okay. Okay, not that big a loss. It's just a thousand souls. I should have hit the bonfire though. So when you fall, uh, mash the roll button and so mash. Zelda? And mash the change weapon button, which is your direction buttons. I need a weapon in my hand, don't I? Come on, blow up already. I want the thing to blow up! I don't want that blowing up when I'm down there. There we go. See, that you didn't get that prompt. There he is. Good old paddling Leroy. Look at that big old weapon he has. He can also cure himself. Walk down very slowly right here. Oh, damn. Okay. Yep. Pick up the current set. You don't need that, dude. Nope. I'm just letting you know where it's at. So, see how he did 861? Are you serious? He got hurt a lot already. He can heal, don't worry about him. 
But still, that's a weak NPC. No, he's not. Look how, look how much he has already still. So what you want to do is you want to run. Because he's, there's these bone skeletons that are like wheels, and they will chase you, and they will not stop hitting you. Did you just kill him? He killed something. He killed him. There's a lot more of them. Here's a technique in order to get him to fight the boss for you. Down there is a boss. Right? I had to go down there in order to suck the fight. Here's what I like to do. Right around here. And just kind of shove him until he gets down there. Cool. What you want him to do is you want him to go all the way down there. Because that's where the boss spawns. See how he's all the way down there now? Yeah. Now I get to go down there. He just walks over there just because he wants to. Just because, yeah. That's how he's programmed, I guess. So you probably saw that little desk from up there. That's where the boss spawns. So the closer you are to the spawn point, well, the closer Leroy is to the spawn point, the easier he can kill him. So how far is this boss into the game supposed to be? Oh, uh, like... I want to say, like, almost halfway through. Yeah, this is like the second boss we're fighting. Yep. Look how much he did. Is it? These are just apparitions. Once you hit them once, they disappear. If I were to catch them. Leroy already killed him. Holy miss. And you get the right of kindling. I'll explain what that does later on. Master the Father. Oh, that's awesome. Are the drops random? Yes. So he gets to drop one of three masks. We got the Master of the Father. So what the Master of the Father does, it increases our equip load. Hmm. You took off your armor. I know, I just took off the mask. Wait, it doesn't look like you equipped your armor though. It is equipped. This is how it looked like. See? Alright, I could go down here and it's get dark. myself killed, but we're not gonna do that. It's Leroy. Leroy, after the boss is over, they disappear. That sucks. That's okay. I'm down over here. See how it's also very dark? Yeah, I mentioned that. Why is it so dark? Because we're underground. Down here. Pick that up. We also picked up this homeward bone. This is another item that you can duplicate. That rolling trick. See, have you noticed? Look, take a look at it. See how it's like white. You see how it's grayed out now. Yep. I mean, it's cued. It's cued. So that's. But I also cued the dark sign to go next. So it's using that one instead. So now I get to teleport all the way back over here. <laughs> 